two of this best of three planet Woo! key dynamics my kpv we saw a really really nice first map in overpass even going to overtime and schaefer just got done talking about how awesome that map was in a strategic sense so stavros will be able to open things up but a b rush asmo gets a crazy shot as they are crossing gets oh another God. one onto insta and Skrunk and Otto, the last two left alive, they do have the bomb planted, but very difficult to hold this here. There's no kit on the oh, CT side. Otto gets that frag, are you kidding me? He almost gets killed through the smoke, but ends up coming back oh to help Crossfire. And now it's a 2v2 Skrunk. Can he go big? He gets the headshot onto Flo. It's all up to Asmo, and he doesn't have a kit. He's peeking around towards yeah, the new lost. box, but playing the time perfectly are the T's, and the bomb's just gonna go off. The first round going in the favor of my KPV. They just go straight into B and make it happen. Stavros, even with that entry frag, as he peeked down Banana, and they aren't able to make it work, so that's a big pistol round pickup for my KPV. What? Okay, I mean, the, the push through the smoke was desperate because they were down. It was a two on four, or two on five. Was it two on four or two on five? Two on four, Two I on believe. four, yeah. And he just so happened to push through at the time that Mantis was pulling out a nade, so it worked out, and then the kills after that were just insane. I mean, yeah. Gosh. Not nice exactly beast stack here, though. This is going to be nice. Look at this pop. these pop flashes. Oh, didn't work out though. Yeah, they try and utilize the tricky play, but my KPV yet to push up as they're just holding halfway down banana. And uh, as we can see, that was a good play for them. As Planet Key tried to get aggressive into top of banana, but this is my KPV's map choice. So picking up pistol, they were definitely uh, gunning for that Planet Key on the other hand, losing that first map. They wanted to start this off with some momentum, and it's not working out. So Flo goes down. This is armor pistol from the CT side. They want to make something happen. Mantis comes up with one, but goes down in a trade fashion. So Stavros is close in construction. We also have Asmo coming up from Banana, but Otto already watching this location. This is going to be difficult, but Stavros makes it out from construction. Asmo will get that frag as he put some damage onto Suelo as well, but will get dropped, so not too bad. Not a terrible eco, eco, not a terrible eco at all. Yep. Did they but, have armor? Uh, they did, I they was did. gonna okay. say, yeah, so full armor and five sevens. You maybe were hoping to get a little bit more than that, but two frags, we'll take it bare minimum. And yeah, what I was saying three. at the beginning there, that B, they had a guy underneath um, the little balcony there, they had a guy at spool, and then they had a guy up close to, to uh, to pop flash the corner there that would blind both spots. Like normally you sit a guy at B with his back turned for a pop flash and the other guy looking in case they do pop flash. And this would have gotten both of them. They just, there was no one there when they did it. It would have been really nice to see though. Yeah, and the nade pick up early on. This is looking like a good anti-eco thus far as two early frags. Some damage done to delivery, but uh, now it's only flow left in the B site. And he's just gonna jump peek. And Superman style gets shot out of the sky via Skrunk. Three to nil, our scoreline, as my KPV, they're going to be going up on that T side. Again, this is their map choice, so we'd imagine that they'd have a strong start. But Planet yeah, I mean, needs to put an end to this. Up. We'll see. Yeah, no need ops. To... Yeah, that's a good point. No ops on the field, and Planet Key... They're opting to go with no helmets, which is not a huge surprise. AK is obviously, it's going to take your head off regardless, but that Galil on auto might feel a little bit more powerful for him now. Let's see the setup here. We've got Flo and Mantis inside of this site in B. They both have smoke grenades, so obviously one thing important to note, they've got smoke on all five players, so Swalo, though, opens up, and when you can get openings like that, uh, it's going to make your T side on Inferno work out pretty darn well. I don't know why we didn't see a smoke there from the CTs at all. Yeah. I mean, they're just giving them the fight, uh, an M4 against an AK, and the AK is usually going to win that battle. Yeah, my best guess would be that they're trying to hang on uh, to those smokes later into the round, but I, that's just, I don't know, theory that may not be correct. So, mid-control for the T's. 
got only one player on B right now. That's Stavros. He does have a smoke grenade in hand and will be able to re-smoke. So that's going to cause an issue here as Skrunk, the only one near A. He's going to be the one Lurk player. We'll see if he can get Mantis as Mantis is close in CT spawn near Arch. But it is going to be a B-side play. Stavros going to have to come up big as flashbangs come on in. And he is just going to be holding here. We see two frags for the CTs, but inevitably the trades come through. And the bomb will be planted in this B site. So now retake scenario. Not where the CTs wanted to find themselves as they wanted to get enough utility to be able to smoke, do all that. And it's prevented them from getting a kit. So because of that, that makes this retake way more difficult. And already all the frags going the ways of the T's. So the first gun round going to my KPV and momentum completely in their favor right now. Four rounds on the T side when you're only four rounds in. That is a great feeling for my KPV. Oh, is he going to find him here in pit? Nope. Yeah, I mean, what I would love to see if you're the CTs... If you're the CTs, the key on this map is you know, smoke control to control the round. Do you want to do smokes from CT spawn to push down banana, or do you want to just play passive in the site? But if you go play passive in the site, you need an extra smoke from one of the A guys because there's three guys there as opposed to two. I mean, that stuff should all be figured out, but either way, you need to have this smoked off unless you're going to flash peek together, you know, like Nip does with Get Right and Freiburg there or, or something. You have to do something other than just play these pre-fire areas against an AK because it's not going to work out for you a majority of the time. And it didn't last round. I mean, it has this round thus far, though. But, see, the smoke comes in, and so, well, I mean, we'll see. It's an eco, so. Yeah, one frag or actually, uh, yeah, one frag for either side, so Otto will be able to take down Stavros. They're pushing towards this A site. Felix and Pit from Truck they do know his location, but they will eventually get that frag. So now it's going to be an A-side take. Flo and Mantis last two alive. Flo with an M4 in hand. He is heading over like they'd like to retake, but the way Mantis just looked at him, he's like, no, buddy, no. <laughs> We're going back. We're going back. So they're going to be saving here. Yeah, Mantis got that armor on him, so. Look at this. They're, they're expecting that there should be an AK here, but... My KPV played it very well, and I don't think he sees it, but Mantis, it's on the roof to your oh, right. It's on the it. roof. Will he get oh. it? Yeah, he Can he get it there? It. He gets yeah. it. He gets it. Wow, I can't believe he looked around for it. Wow, what a heads-up play. So they're going to have that AK-47 moving into this next round, and that's a good feeling as Mantis feeling pretty clever, I imagine, right wow, now. Wow, like, even ah, with ah, the ah. skin. The skin was, like, blended oh, in. Oh, it was to... camouflage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, wild, nuts. that's crazy. Heads up play. Now they have two free guns. Uh, Flo needed it because he saved the round before and kept that gun, so he desperately needed it. Um, other than that, I mean, it was a pretty good eco. Um, now it's going to come down. Oh, we are going to see an op. Man, they have a different opper every, like, half, it seems like. Yeah, Stavros. Yeah, Stavros is going to be the man with that weapon now, and he peeks out mid, won't be able to get anything. Oh, actually, no, he does put a... Shot into delivery, so 16 HP on him. So that's some nice opening damage from the CT side. Planet Key Dynamics needs to shut down and start getting some rounds on the board. Five to zero Ooh. is huge, and Stavros going down. The AWP gets dropped. He's trying to play back hauls. Felix will be able to take that weapon, but drops it as well. So Felix, though, and Flo with zero frags right now. They need to step it up. And it is going to be an A-side execute. Felix and Asmo left alive here. They're going to be tested momentarily. This op and pit could be crucial. Oh, oh. but Felix gets decimated. Oh, Asmo comes up huge with three, though. And this could be the first round. Suelo in a 1v2. He's got 35 seconds to play with. And damage done to both CTs, so definitely winnable as the bomb has been planted. He will smoke off towards Moto. Mantis peeks out. We'll be able to get some location information. Molotov towards truck means that they're going to have issues pushing through. 
They can do it, but the problem is they're already low in HP, so peeking out. Will he get it? No, Flo will get his first frag of this map, and that's going to put away the round. So being that they have a kit, Bomb has been defused. First round for Planet Key, and they needed that desperately. I mean, the th one of the, I don't know which one it was, the first, second, or third. I think it was the second kill in Asmo's 3K right there. I, it looked like one of those, like, oh, well, this random bullet just sprays off here and gets it. But, I mean, that's the story of that round for the CTs. If he doesn't get a 3K right there, it's over because everything was going Planet Key's way, or I'm sorry, KPV's way until that. I mean, they, they get, they got the entry at Halls, they got the entry at Pit, and, I mean, everything was going great. So, I mean, thank you, Asmo, if you're a Planet Key supporter. Exactly, but opening frag flow clutches that last round with a headshot, but goes down early on. So man advantage. My KPV is able to get these openings every round. And on the T side of Inferno, that's usually such a hard task. But rushing into this Here B they site, they're going for it. Mantis, though, from sight, from new, new boxes, will be able to get one. Stavros with one, but trade kill... Mantis needs to come up big, and he won't be able to. Puts damage onto all three Ts. So this is definitely a, a retake that's doable. Asmo and Felix coming in. Asmo with the first. It's now a 2v2. Delivery and Insta. Trying to make it happen, but Felix coming up from construction. Asmo will peek out, goes down to delivery. They just need to crossfire properly onto Felix, and they will. Felix yet to get a frag in this map. And quickly, the momentum shifts back to my KPV. One round and a very close round. Like we were saying, if Asmo doesn't go massive in that last round, that's another my KPV victory. So they don't have that individual play in this round, and it goes back to my KPV, and they are broke on that CT side. Yeah, I mean, the B guys are really letting uh, Planet Key down here. Um, they're putting their retake guys into a hell of a situation when they're outnumbered and they're smoked off. I mean, it's 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 really tough here. I mean, they had a chance there because they were all extremely low, but the time was just so far against them because of the smokes that the guys with low health with remaining tees just had to hold the corners and hit the shots that they're supposed to hit. And delivery came up huge there. So the B guys need to get it together here and change something up and start hitting some Hitting some secondary shots. They're hitting those first dinks, so they're just not finishing them up. And Skrunk will get uh, one frag over there. He takes one bullet with the Deeg, but another frag. Asmo down. Coming out of Boiler, Felix drops as well, and falling apart. Stavros and a 1v5. And I'm just going to take this opportunity to mention we do have a Facebook giveaway going on right now. Cyberware. Hooking us up with the GTX 960 graphics card to send out to you lovely viewers. So we are going to be announcing the winner of that on February the 15th at the end of our broadcast. But all you need to do to get in on that giveaway, like RGN's Facebook page on Facebook, obviously. As well as Cyberware LLC. And that is the extent of the pre wex But uh, we are going to see Stavros come in. He gets one frag onto delivery. Auto fires back, though. And another round from my KPV. They are running away with this Inferno map number two right now. Cyberware for all your cyber needs, folks. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> pretty standard um, counter eco. If your KPV there, they've got money pretty pretty well stacked here. If, if something dramatic doesn't happen in the next three rounds here for them, they're going to be pretty set for this half. I mean, Planet Key needs to step it up here. Um, maybe change something up. Get a little aggro on Banana. Throw that bottom of Banana Smoke. Start some pre-nades up. I mean, KPV is taking quick Banana Control every round. So I'd love to see a bunch of pre-nades, some, you know, maybe even 86 the grenades and just buy mollies and just take a chance down there. But they need to slow something down here for KPV. Yeah, and that's something we see quite often from... CT sides that are very strong on this map is a lot of banana control and such, and my KPV have been all over it on their T side without Planet Key being able to work any counters. So right now the bomb is grouped up four of them in top of banana. It looks like they're opting to oh, at least... Oh, he's getting aggressive. 
Ooh, here we go, but Mantis pays for it, and that's gonna be the opening they're looking for, but Flo comes up big! He's gonna get two frags there, Insta-fires back on the other side of the map, so it's gonna make it a 3v2, but the rotation underway, Felix now realizing that, oh, no bomb call from Flo means that they could be heading back over here, and he's gonna find out the hard way as he goes down. Now a 1v3 Flo is just hanging out at B. Let's just hang Flo's on to this gonna weapon. gonna take this round off here. Give it a little... Oh, no he's not. Skrunk's gonna handle him. Man, I tell you what. I mean, not to sound like a broken record here, but... KPV's not doing anything different. They're doing a standard default. They're sending two toward banana fast. They send three toward A. Take that hall's control. One guy just watches mid. And they're just getting entry kills. I mean, you got to change something up here, Planet Key, if, uh, if you want to show us a game. I mean, I'm down for another big comeback, but it's going to be a little harder this time if on the T side. Um, Inferno. And some aggression down Banana Mantis tries to uh, ooh. use... Ooh, Stavros will get a headshot Flo. into Insta. Flow comes up big, gets one, but... With the trade frag and very lit CTs. It is a 3v3. We'll see if Asmo can make anything happen. Tries to get some spray through the smoke. Stavros down. It's Felix and Asmo. And Asmo, what? Mm -hmm. This is getting close here. It's all down to auto. They know the I... last guy's bottom of B. Yep, so just sticking the bomb. No kit, though, so plenty of time for auto to come up. And he gets the first frag. Can he get Asmo as well? He oh, will. Come on. And that's going to be it, and I'm not really sure why, like, you know you don't have a kit, so yeah, you kind of need to get on the bomb, but at the same time, it's 1v2, you know he's in banana, maybe work a crossfire, then go for the defuse, especially when the situation was uh, what we were seeing play out, so. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> I mean, overall, good eco, though, I mean, if you're playing a key, um, good eco, you need to get these last four, I w or five, I would think. Make it a 9-6, get the momentum in your favor going this way. But once again, KBV going to change it up here and go with the 2-banana 3-A. Oh, wait, it's the same strat. We'll see if it works out for him. <laughs> yeah. And like you said, it's not like my KBV are doing anything really crazy special. They're just looking for openings. And, and there it and is. Another, another trade. So as long as they're getting the trades, they're, they're kind of tag-teaming top of banana. And they'll peek out two at a time as long as one of them gets a kill. That is fine and dandy. So 4v4. And Planet Key left with... They do have two players on B, but the defense super spread out. We can see on our mini-map right now that the bomb is opting to rendezvous with the rest of the terrorists near this A bomb site. So Felix playing on balcony. Asmo has an AWP in hand. He's glass cannon mode, though. So 58 HP on him. He needs to make these shots happen. He will spot out Insta, and that's a nice frag as... They are going to be pushing this site, so Felix need to come, needs to come up big, and he will get one. Swelo, though, gets one as well. It's all up to delivery, and this should be a CP-sided round. Delivery tries to make the random spray work, but Asmo puts an end to that with his AWP. 3K for him comes up big, and that was the reason they won their first round. Asmo, the reason they won their second as well. Yeah, I mean, who? I mean, he can opt too. I mean, surprise, surprise. He can pretty much do it all. Um, I'm glad that they are finally using an op. They are using one, right? Okay, Mantis is using it. I would love to see him use it here at mid. Uh, okay, they swapped it back to Asmo. Because, really, this, the terrorists aren't smoking off this mid, so they're leaving it up for the CTs to flash peek it. And flash peeking mid is very, very, very lucrative if you want to go for those entries of CT. That's why you normally see people that smoke it off as terrorists and wait for your team to get in position, but no, they're going to stick with that same default here. Two toward banana and one mid, two in apartments. I think literally this is the first round that the T smoked off top mid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> as you're saying, that's it. the first round that I just watched them do it. So like, hence, that's why uh, the peak wasn't there. But definitely, I agree with you. If they're not smoking it off, why not try and work those peaks, especially at the score line you're at? You need to kind of mix up some aggression, catch your opponents off guard. As uh, what's what's happening isn't really working. You can't just rely on Asmo to go big every single round and 
He smoked off on Arch side. We're seeing a couple of Terrace working this mid control, top mid control. Instant delivery already out. They've got a player up in back halls as well. Auto is going to push up to the other side of the smoke. And Stavros getting peaky Ooh, though. We'll try and get a frag. They're going to try and take him down though. 50 HP as Auto pushes out. He will get one, but this is. All CT sided round for people left alive, and that is the victory that Planet Key desperately needed. Stavros this time with a 3k. He's going big, so some individual play from other players other than Asmo. If they can wake this team up. We could see a 9 6 half and maybe a comeback on their T side. But yeah, uh, they round. definitely need they need some economy here, and that was a big round for that. Stavros coming alive there with a nice little 3k. Um uh, Staying alive. He also played a little aggressive on his smoke. I love that when CTs in general, when they smoke something off, they don't just leave it. You know what I mean? A lot of people, newer players, not necessarily these pro games, but a lot of people think a smoke is a wall, and it's not. I mean, a smoke is is only as useful as you utilize it, and Insta, my god. What a monster. This is what happens. No smoke at B if you're CTs. Quit giving them the free pick. Oh, jeez. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, I'm over well you. <laughs> just right through the smoke, pre-fire door <laughs> CT spawn. Takes him down, and now Asmo forced to save with Felix, and Felix actually wasn't able to afford armor that round, apparently, so definitely not a good situation for him to retake, so falling back to save these weapons is going to be the 10th round for my KPV, and again, this is my KPV's map. So you could assume that they were going to have a solid start and a solid just play in general. As obviously but, um, that would be... It's just so frustrating, man, because these guys have went aggressive at B every round. You have to slow them down and you use their strength against them. They're aggressive. Okay, so you either be aggressive back and go against them or nade the hell out of them. Send three people to B at the start of the round and throw three nades down there. That'll slow them down, and then rotate two guys off. They'll be like, oh, three nades at B. Uh, it's a stack B. Let's go A. Well, maybe they rotate off and you catch them. You know? Or maybe you get a nade kill. Who knows? So you have to slow it down. These guys at B haven't been contested or stopped once, so they're just going to keep running up. But now they're actually going to rush B. Let's see how it works. And Suelo with the first one, though. Asmo will be able to get one, make it two as they're trying to push up, and he gets a okay. third, so... Asmo with the huge individual play once again just locking down mid. But Suelo once again gets a pick up banana. Mantis still here though. So halfway down, he's got control, hence why we see three of the CTs over on that Five A side. Left. A grenade. Thank you. Yep, that's uh I mean I have painful. no dogs in this in this race. I haven't bet or anything like that. But, I mean, it's just a little frustrating when you see this. Uh, you feel a little bad for him because the same thing is just happening to him over and over again. And smoke goes down for Planet Key, so we'll be able to stop this rush as the T's are heading back towards mid. So opting to just rotate out. Two CTs on either side, so it's going to be a similar situation whichever way you look at it. Asmo, though, is on this side, and with that Get Molotov going down, he gets one. Can he get the final? Felix picks it up. He, okay, uh, Felix needs it, I guess. Yeah, he needs to pad his stats a little bit, so he'll get the fourth round, or fourth frag for himself. Planet Kia on four rounds here. They want to take this last one and make it a 10-5 half, and Pistol Round will have to go their way on this T side. But being that we've seen this kind of CT side from them, what do you expect on the T side? Um, I, I don't know, because I expect the CTs... When they swap, I mean, I expect KPV to be really aggressive. And I think it's honestly going to work out really well for him unless Planet Key is extremely strong in this map. I regretfully say that I have not watched a lot of the new Planet Key. So I don't know. Oh, here we go, Asmo. Highlight it. Nope. Auto. Yeah, he decides to switch back to his 5.7. I would like to see him just get... Some no scopes or something crazy up there. Highlight but material, see, they, like they you're went saying. aggressive at B right there. They threw a smoke down and went aggressive and got a kill. Now things are in their favor. 
And we're going to see the bomb rotating around Archway right now. Flow Whoa. gets two, though. Make it three. Great. Ends round. the round. Shooting at one guy coming through the smoke and inadvertently takes down one through the smoke at the same time and makes it a triple after. So five to ten, our score line. Planet Key. You can assume that they wanted more done on their CT side, being that this is a CT sided map and my KP picked the map. Therefore, you would assume that they're going to have a strong CT side. And the reason I asked you about uh, the T side and Planet Key is my understanding is if you don't really understand one side of the map, uh, yeah, some team play and team communication and stuff can make up for the lack of kind of play on your CT side. But still, if you're not exactly knowledgeable as to how to make the other side work, how are you going to take advantage? You, you need to know that Inferno is a type of map that you can't afford to not know how the T side works, as it is a lot of kind of juking and faking back and forth, working picks at either sites. And my KPV, I feel like they got lucky in that they had so many opening frags, and generally speaking, you do not have that luxury on the T side. Um, yeah, I mean, yes, and I think I tend to think yes and no on that. Um, at this level, um, these are probably, I want to say, you know, not the best top tier pro teams, right? They're, they're the teams that, you know, if they're on CSGO Lounge, when they go against Envious or Fnatic or Nip, they're at a 25 to 30% chance. And for good reason, you know, they're supposed to be the underdog. But at this level of play, I tend to think that if they're weak on one side, they're usually going to be strong on the other. Uh, because otherwise, you you wouldn't be at this level of play. Um, right. I know that sounds weird, but if you have a... Sh some, some teams genuinely are worse on the easier map. And, right. Or on the easier side, I mean. No, and that makes perfect sense in that uh, they had to have had some success to make it to where they're at. And it could just be that they're stronger on... CT on all of the above maps and their T side just they, they just try and avoid starting on T side and just getting a couple rounds in kind of thing so who knows if um, Planet Key they, they didn't show a ton on their CT side but definitely their T side could be different but we are about to go live into our second pistol round here my KPV looking to close this out two to nil whereas Planet Key they want to keep this going and move us to that third map in season and that is a bit of a toss-up, at least in my eyes, as it's a knife round to two sides, and then... Ooh, nice. Nice headshot. Yeah, that's a Once great again, Like opening. I said, KPV, I think they're going to be really aggro on this map. CT and side. Swelo gets one as he pushes up aggressively in apps. The bomb, though, is positioned in banana. They're pushing up right now. Felix with a smoke on him. Actually, his teammate will be able to smoke off CT side, but Otto will be able to get one. He's the one that... Got sent down to 10 HP, but all the T's are super lit here. That nade would have finished him off if he was still alive there, but he will go down, and it's all up to Felix and a 1v3, and looks like he's planning on getting aggressive. Actually, he's just like, nope, I want nothing to do with that bomb site. I'm swapping back. Gonna double back and go A, which uh, might actually get him a bomb plant here, whereas on that B site, it was looking a little bit bleak, but Insta will be alive and well to... Spot out this site and playing from arches, we're going to see Felix making plenty of noise. So this should be an easy shot for Insta as he does get the initial shot in. Finally finishes it off. So Planet Key will drop that pistol round and that is looking a little bit bleak. My KPV will get the momentum started off on the CT side. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's me being... I don't, like, I, like I was telling you this at the break when we weren't on the stream that I don't know if it's because I'm really tired because I have been up all night, but KPV's aim look extremely on point. And I don't know, like I said, I haven't done too much research on these guys. I haven't seen them a whole lot, but I'm telling you right now, there's something about these guys. Their aim is just on point. Skrunk will be able to trade there. They do get an opening and actually make it a second as now a 3v4 develops. With the tech nine? Yeah, I didn't actually get to catch that in a first-person perspective, but apparently so. <laughs> it was through card. the corner of the porch wall there. I didn't know you could wall that. Well, there we go. Tech nine works out in many situations unexpectedly. 
So flashbang out from Otto. He's going to try and stuff this rush up truck side. And he's done a decent job, but Insta goes down. Only able to get one is Otto. Here we go again. Skrunk down a 1v3. He's going to be pushing up from Library. He does have a kit in hand. Flashbang out from Sight, though, will prevent him from pushing any further. And Skrunk's just going to save this weapon. So this is looking uh, the similar to... And then the eco. Yep. Just like last map. Just like last map indeed. So Planet Key not not dropping this just yet. They are not done here. Skrunk will be able to save that Pro 90 for the next round. On the uh, on the other hand, Schaefer is a man of the people. Can we get a freedom in the chat, please? <laughs> Let the spamming begin. I love hearing people trash talk the way we're casting and stuff like that man <laughs> that, that fuels me let's let's keep it going make sure you guys check out game uh cyberware for all your cyber needs they're giving away a fantastic looks like video card here if you check out the facebook that was just posted other than that let it rain let it rain indeed freedom as we open up the gates round 18 underway planet key Let's see if they can put consecutive rounds on the board on this T side. Armor across the board. Delivery. Only one without armor on that CT side. So taking this round seriously. And definitely one of the maps on that CT side where you can pick up armor with pistols and have a good shot at things. So playing passive on that A site are three of the CTs. Skrunk and Swelo posted up top of Banana. So right now not a lot of action as... We do see Planet Key takes control of the top mid real estate and now pushing towards Arch side. Stavros collecting a lot of information and actually making it all the way through Arches here. Insta finally gets the information that at least one is up, but being that Stavros made it all the way through, he's got an opportunity to make this split work out really well on this B site. Oh, wow. Did they not know he was there? No, he creeped up through Archway and didn't get spotted at all. So now this is going to be difficult for the two players in sight, but let the Pro 90 rip two frags for the CTs. Skrunk with a Tech 9 will get one. But uh, this is going to be the bomb planted. Oh. Delivery says see you later to flow. Asmo and Mantis, last two left and 50 HP on both. They don't have a lot of HP to play with, and one of them goes down. It's all up to Mantis. Can he make it? happen he won't be able to so that folks is why you armor up and get upgraded pistols on the ct side because i don't delivery though is the one without even armor he just hit a long distance deed and made it work so 12 to 6 our scoreline make kpv is not letting any momentum build up on planet key but uh, i do believe that this is actually exactly the way that on overpass they picked up that second sure round, but then it went back in the favor of my kpb then back in the favor of Planet Key for a lot of rounds in a row. So, we'll see. This is the round to see if we follow suit there. And we yeah, have I plenty mean, of equipment. That that was such a good lurk right right there by, I think it was Stavros, to make it all the way CT. It's just so unfortunate that they happened to be playing both of them crossfire in the back of sight, and he didn't get a chance to get an entry from it. I mean, he didn't even do substantial damage to uh, anyone in that round from that spot so really unfortunate for them um but yeah if i were a betting man i would say that just like last game planet key's going to take this round we'll just got a feeling got a feeling spidey senses are tingling mantis he's got an awp and is slowly walking up mid There's no awp on that ct side so we'll see if maybe he can make that work at the moment looking toward arches it uh, doesn't see anything as of yet, so Insta is actually playing that really passively. This is the reason that they were able to get a player through Arches last time, Insta playing this passive angle here. But he will peek out Mantis. Oh. We'll get that opening. And, that, and there's still uh, prompts, 2 B. Yeah, that here prompts this B play. Or A play, rather. Delivery will get one. Auto with one as well. Felix and his teammate with that AWP will be able to open up this site, though. Bomb being planted. Skrunk. And Swelo, Swelo oh. eventually connects with a spray. And being that Skrunk is on this flank, oh, he might be able to get a freebie and actually takes down Mantis. 
The very low HP, not out of it yet though. But this is going to be it. Can he get it? Felix, last one alive. The spraying tech nine tried to make it work, but Suelo will be able to get that. And we are not going to see the trend continue. Planet Key wanted to get that round and build a comeback, but my KBV, they put an end to it as Skrunk trying to dive into pit with that tech nine out. I told you, the KBV would win that player. round. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it was a good try, a big round by Mantis right there, um, and Felix, surprisingly, who's had a, a pretty off day, um, I would say for him, and it was, it was a big round by, bo by both of them. It really came down to Swelo just getting that better spray down on, I think it was Stavros at arch side there, um, that, I think that was the key in the round. We see an opening going for the CTs, make it two as Skrunk gets aggressive into Banana and puts those players down. They have the bomb as well. So these three terrorists posted up top mid, they're going to have to either flank all the way around or just move that back down mid. And Flo actually takes down Skrunk. Insta will get that frag onto Mantis and a smoke grenade from Suela will buy him plenty of time. But once again, you see a player making it all the way through into... CT spawn Insta knows this though and just barely misses a shot. Asmo with the Tech 9 in hand. This is terrifying at this range, but Insta, you don't see that too often. He makes it happen with a USP. USP versus Tech 9. Rarely do you see that go in the way of the, the USP, but the jump of uh, the Tech 9 player may have made that happen. 6 to 14, our scoreline, my KPV. Looking to close out this map, it will be a rifle round. AKs across the board from the T-sided planet key, though. Yeah, we'll see if they still stay with that aggression um, at Banana here, because that's really been the difference um, for the... Oh, we're going, we're going to see that bottom of B-Smoke with the mollies. Now they have them trapped in. Ooh, Ooh. Stavros going to come with the entry, though. And Skrunk very lit as well. On the other side of the map, Odo goes down, or Otto rather. And this is looking like a good round from the T side. Skrunk on 1 HP. It's going to be falling back into sight and just playing, I imagine, some sort of headshot angle here. But now the options are endless for the T side. They've got plenty of time, a minute left on the clock. They've got two opening frags. Skrunk on 1 HP. How could things go wrong? Yeah, they'd have to try to lose this round. And we'll see delivery posted up underneath the balcony here, and they're not going to get anything done. I thought Insta had that shot, but didn't work out. Skrunk, I imagine he's just going to save here with one HP. He's got plenty of equipment to bring into that next round. We'll see if the T's opt to go out hunting, but this will be their seventh. So we've seen this situation before. I remember saying... 7 to 14. They're at half of the score on overpass, but they could come back. <laughs> and that ended up happening, so. Skrunk, once again, just hanging on to that rifle. Bomb about to go off here. Mantis going big. Stavros the double kill. is not trusting Skrunk right now. He's guarding that bomb. Okay, <laughs> yeah. he's asked. And we will see the rifle survive for Skrunk. So we'll bring that into this next round. We'll see what the money situation looks like for the CT side. And it does look like he will be the only one with a rifle in hand. The rest of his teammate will be broken on an eco. We've got actually three deagles on the field. And Otto with a 5-7. We've seen what delivery can do with that deagle. See if the rest of the team can follow suit. And they're opting to stack banana. Skrunk with the one and only rifle will be playing near the A site. So, you like this play, Schaefer? What are you thinking? Um, I think it's a good... It's a good... Oh, man. Those grenades really hurt it. But I like this because they've had a lot of success. Fennecke has a B, so we'll continue it. Felix! Three kills! That's like a third of his total kills. Yep. But Insta will take down Felix. So now a 2v3 as we saw a nice frag for... Um, I... I I believe it was Otto, the first one that made it into Banana. He flashed in there. He got one, but yeah, Felix came back and got all three right after. So opening frag did go to the CTs, but Felix able to salvage that. And I mean, the stack really worked. It was, I mean, it was, uh, it was extremely well played by Planet Key to 
to pre-nade those corners. Otherwise, I, I don't think Felix gets three there. You know what I mean? I, th I think he got the three because they were really low. I mean, that spray just happened to work. Yeah, definitely. We'll see. I'm going to be executing Skunk. on this B site. They need him. They, oh, they do. need Insta, sorry. They need Insta's one dig. Can he make another one happen here? He's trying, but won't work out. And Skrunk left in a 1v3. Saving again. Yep. He's going to be frugal and saves in T-apps. Not a bad idea. His teammates should have enough money to get some things going in this next round. 4,100 on auto and Insta, being that he'll have a weapon as well. Yeah, I would see, I would, you'll probably see Insta with an op here. And actually what I'd like to see is I'd like to see that opper. Well, I guess on this map, it really depends on his spawn. But if he has that B spawn, I, I'd love them to just throw uh, a quick peek down banana here. Try and get a quick kill and fall off maybe. Or even, um, even throw that aggressive banana smoke and then maybe some uh, deeper mollies. Last time they threw safe mollies to stop a rush, but they didn't throw them deep enough. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think banana is the key here. I mean, it's been the key for both teams thus far, and it usually is. So, I mean, I'd love to see some sort of play on banana here. We'll see where Insta goes. Yeah, Planet Key bringing this back. 14 to 8 is our score line. They've managed to get three on the T side. It's an A push. And yeah, they're getting aggressive over near All A, five. being the CTs. Skrunk is... Lagged Skrunk out. Lagged out. Rip. So that is not good at all. It's going to be a 4v5 unless Skrunk comes back. But being that he's like running on the spot here, I doubt it's going to be happening. Mantis opens up the round onto delivery. And this is really unfortunate as Stavros gets one more. And this looks like a 5v2, but it's actually... Or rather, it looks like a 5v3, but it's actually a 5v2. As we've got... Uh, yeah. Now they're realizing that Skrunk... Oh, Skrunk is back. It's back in action here. So he's going to he's get the gonna meatloaf be... from his mom. Exactly, right? And they've actually decided to cancel that pause time as he has come back. So this is going to be an A-side play, and luckily for the lagged out Skrunk, he's over here because of that, and he gets one. 9 HP, though, will go down, and leaving the retake up to Otto and Insta. It's hard really to say. Think about save... Oh, wow. Ooh, good opening pick. Yeah, I was going to agree with you. The smoke's but... going to make him save. I would imagine. Yeah, Insta is peeking the corner of the smoke there. Maybe seeing if they can get one more pick before falling off, but won't be the case. they will just fall off and save round here. But I'm curious, how does that round go with Skrunk not lagged out? Well, it was yeah. interesting play. Did you happen to see like the, all the smokes that were thrown there? Because what they did was they threw um, a bottom of banana smoke from CT spawn as well as a top of banana smoke so that it looked like they could go aggressive at banana but in case they went like the terrace went aggressive they also stopped at the top of banana and then they just stacked five at a and went aggressive to try to completely get an advantage over there against you know what is probably two or three terrorists against five CTs so it was a really nice strategy I'm not sure Skrunk lagging out really hurt that round all that much. It came down to a few shots that were missed on the CT's point of view. But, yeah, I mean, I loved it. I, the lag out was a little unfortunate. I would have liked to have seen where he was going to go on that. Yeah, and I think he was going to be one of those aggressive top mid players as it looked like he was well on his way there, but stopped an arch. But uh, we will never know, as I'm doubting they use that once again. That was kind of one of their... Tricks up their sleeve, and like you said, brilliant play. The double smoke on Banana. Lots of mind games there. Those look like we're going to have Planet Key opting for a B-side take. Asmo with a Molotov in hand. I imagine he's going to be uh, sending that into sight here momentarily. Swalo with a Deagle in hand. He's going to be playing sight with Insta. Insta does have an AWP. So he's going to have to go big here, but here we go. He does get the first one, but he hasn't peeked out again, and they've been able to make it all the way over to the barbecue, but a close oh. frag. Mantis takes him down. Skrunk does get one, so this definitely could go in the favor, and yeah, Skrunk goes up big. He gets a second frag, and Flo is 
super far away here. Now they know his location. This should be an easy crossfire for the oh. CTs, but Flo making him work for it. He's actually going to... Okay, he's going to double smoke and just work his way through it. He's just going to be spamming around. Will finally go down. The idea was there. but uh, I think his smoke was meant to go further. Just a little bit further, yeah. So yeah, gotta... so that he could have a gap in it to get up there, and it might have just not hit where he had hoped. Um, but yeah, I mean, big plays by Skrunk there. Um, I didn't notice. Uh, I mean, when it, I was watching and I saw Insta from his point of view, I didn't realize he killed the guy that was actually up close to him. Mantis killed him with the op from the entrance of the site. I oh, was I didn't actually realize that. Yeah, yeah, I thought that the jump meant that he shot through the legs and then he got right. in the face. That's what so. I thought too. Interesting. Okay, well that changes things a little bit as uh, it's better he got that second frag. Definitely want to get two before going down on that CT side. So, Swelo, he is going to be naded down to 50 very early. So they're just going to pre-nade over into Sandbags as the smoke kind of makes you think they could have one player there. And Insta going down, that is a great opening. Stavros making it work here. Top mid play. He's going to get aggressive as well. Wrapping around arch side, and Skrunk is going to look to get peaky, though, from arch side as well. CT side of arch, though. Stavros has made it all the way up to library. This is going to be an A side play because they have him in such an opportune situation. The truck side play is underway, and oh, delivery goes down. He burns to death, and Skrunk, all once the again, caught with no gun out. Oh, man. Swelo left in a 1v5. My KPV given Planet Key way back in here. And could we see an overtime in map number two is the question. 15 to 9, our scoreline. About to be 15 to 10. So only five rounds needed on that T side. But this we're going to see here. And this is so different to me than the North American. Like, I'm used to North American pro play. And... These guys, both sides, terrace, terrace, are able to run up either banana or middle with no smoke or anything through it, and they're just running up getting entry kills. That round right there, I don't know who it was on the terrace side. I can't remember. Uh, it might have been Stavros. He ran up yeah. middle and just peeked the arch guy. That was it. Yeah. There was no smoke, no nothing. And that's just so, it's so, like... I'm not used to that. I don't know. Is that the new meta? I mean, I I hadn't played for a few days. Has that changed? <laughs> That's, it's changed overnight. As we're actually seeing that same A-side stack, the banana smoke. It actually misses a little bit. There's a bit of a corner in the smoke, but opening frags. Two of them go to the T's. Finally trading back, though. Flow will be taken out. Bomb still at bottom of mid. They've got plenty of options, and they will be rotating Skrunk back over to that B-site. As it is completely vulnerable, and we do see that the T's are opting to take that avenue. So Skrunk, and I need to come up big here. It's, it's only got a 5-7. The dream oh, for this did... round Man, on his shoulders. Ooh, Asmo will get drop of Felix returns. And we do see an AK-47 on auto. But no kits, no armor. I imagine that auto will probably be saving that weapon. Whereas Insta, though... He is going for blood. Gets dropped, though. He put the bullet into Mantis, but AWP is a strong weapon. We'll put him down in one, and auto forced to save. Will mean Planet Key moves up to 11 rounds. So 15 to 11. They're closing in this on overtime. Vu. I know, right? Completely. Completely. And auto will be able to save this rifle. We see Stavros running around hoping to find him as they do not want to keep him with his weapon but we'll be able to hang on to it moving into this next round and money on the side of the cts here auto's got 9700 so he drops that ak actually is able to drop an m4 to delivery as well and then buy himself so monetarily speaking they drain all their money but they do have a full buy no op on the field on the ct side whereas mantis will be Rocking that on the T side. So we'll see what develops here. We've got a three-person stack on this B site for my KPV. Otto and Insta, the only two players at A. And Flo, actually, the only player for the T's. 
at A. He's lurking up into back halls as we speak. Okay, we have a smoke mid now. I get it. And an the aggressive flash push in? at B. That flash in worked wonders. Swelo takes down Stavros. Swelo very lit though. Oh, this fire is going to make... Oh, he is praying that that doesn't grow and he will be in safety. So, 2 HP though. The bomb has rotated back to this A oh site, my. though. Otto puts some fire onto Flow, drops him to 3 HP through truck, and gets two, makes it three, gets this the fourth, and Otto's in 